uh, who served in the army in Iraq. Uh, and how you served eight years? About eight and a half years, uh, Operation Rocket Freedom 0709. Lloyd Austin went in yeah. for an elective procedure. We have no idea what that is or means. Didn't tell anyone about it. Goes into the hospital on Monday. No one knows in the Defense Department until the following day that he is in the hospital in ICU. His chief of staff <coughs> had the flu, and somehow even the deputy defense secretary, Kathleen Hicks, who took over his, some of his responsibilities, neither she nor the White House found out until Thursday that he was in the hospital, and he's still hospitalized. The White House. John Kirby is standing by, the White House is standing by him. He apparently isn't going anywhere. What do you make of this? Well, uh, Joe Biden doesn't know where he is half the time, so it's no surprise that he doesn't know where his key leaders in the administration are. Uh, but I also do want to say, uh, from a human perspective, uh, let's hope Lloyd Austin is okay. He's sixth in line to the presidency, uh, but that also adds to the criticality with the world being on fire, the fact that our border is FUBAR, the fact that our energy policy is MIA, now our Secretary of Defense is AWOL. Uh, we were taught in the military, the first general order, is I will guard everything within the limits of my post and quit my post only when properly relieved. It does not sound, since the White House is saying they were surprised, that he was properly relieved. This uh, is something that our adversaries are looking at very, very closely, and they recognize this. And uh, I would say very plainly and clearly to anyone who does not believe that the border is a critical issue, our arrogance will lead to deaths of Americans every single day in this open border Biden policy is October 6th with Israel. Every day is September 10th back here in this country if we do not secure our borders. We must gain operational control of our border, and we don't need more legislation, Secretary Mayorkas. We need leadership. We need leadership from you, and you will be held to account if you do not provide it. You know, if, if you don't show up in Congress and no one notices, John, that's a, that's a problem, right? If, 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 right. if Dagan Wright doesn't show up for a job and no one notices, it's like no one cares. You're not doing the work. No one notices that uh, the Secretary of Defense is gone for this many days. That's a problem. Also, what concerns me is he's the one that's supposed to advise the president should there be uh, a, 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 a imminent attack, whether we're attacked. He's the guy the president goes to, and he's MIA. I mean, this is, this is truly uh, a national security threat. All information flows through him to the Sean, president. there have been imminent attacks. We've, we've been attacked in the Red Sea. We're being attacked in the Middle East. Americans are being attacked right now. And, and so understanding uh, the chain of command being intact, that is very critical uh, information for I if a human being needs a medical procedure, so be it. I hope he's okay. But there should be a chain of command that is, that is uh, fully uh, in control and understands the situation globally at all times. Mm. He, how do you not tell your boss that you're going in the hospital <laughs> for a procedure? How do you not tell your boss you're in the, on a gurney in the, in the bus going to the hospital. You tell someone, please call my boss and tell him I won't be able to fulfill my duties. Well, well, and we were attacked eight times in Iraq and Syria while Lloyd Austin was not fulfilling his duties until last Friday. And we attacked, there was a retaliatory strike in Baghdad on Thursday, and the Defense Department has the audacity to say that Austin authorized that in December, and people who have served say that is utter pig potatoes, that it, you do not, you don't have the intelligence to authorize a strike of that nature weeks prior. Pig good God, water. John yeah. James, good God. Yeah, God is good. And, and the thing is, I, I don't, um, Lloyd Austin is probably focused on his recovery. Where I place this is firmly at the leader, where the buck's supposed to stop, Joe Biden. Yeah. What is going on in your administration when you have a Secretary of Homeland Security is not securing the homeland, you have a Secretary of Defense who's incapacitated and unable to defend the country. And not telling you. And, and, and not telling you. Like, what kind of culture uh, are you setting? What kind of administration are you running? I laid this solidly at Joe Biden, and like I opened the, the, uh, the interview with, uh, he doesn't know where he is half the time. Who's really running this? It's obviously not him. Maybe it's Barack Obama. Who knows? Mm, who knows? John James, Congressman. Thanks a lot. Michigan, that was a pleasure to see you. I didn't you. mean to blaspheme. Oh, of course not. Oh, okay. Of course. okay. John James, <laughs> thank you. Good Thanks to see you. Me. All right.